I would like to call uh, this meeting of the Transportation Committee to order. Can we have a roll call, please? Chaplain here. Covert here. Evans here. Ozov here. Tornatory here. Zay. Okay. All right. Um, I want to welcome everyone to our meeting today. First, I want to congratulate. Bill, who is not in the room. I'm right here. Oh, there you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to congratulate Bill on his new role as county engineer effective last Saturday. Uh, and I also want to thank Director Snyder for his willingness to postpone his retirement until mid-December. With the restructuring of Chris's former position, Bill, as county engineer, will oversee all engineering traffic and support functions associated with delivering DOT's annual and multi-year capital improvement program and will report to Director Snyder. Uh, Director Snyder will also directly oversee the day-to-day -day functions of maintenance, planning, and finance divisions of the DOT. And Bill, Chris will assist Bill with his transition to his new role and oversight responsibilities. Any other questions, give me a call. I want to share this. This is from Tim Harbaugh. <laughs> Happy Groundhog Day. You get six more weeks with <laughs> Director Snyder. So, uh, but I do want to thank you. And thank you. And I'm sorry, I just okay. line of line of sight. So, okay, um, moving on. Do we have any public comment? We do not. Okay. And next, I'm going to move for approval of the minutes no of our uh, transportation meeting, October 17th, 2023. Any questions or changes? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, now I'm gonna move for approval of 233582, recommendation for the approval of purchase order to so Zips Car Wash, doing business as Bright Car Wash to provide unlimited car washes, including undercarriage wash and rust inhibitors needed for the DuPage County fleet of vehicles for the period November 8th, 2023 to November 7th, 2024, for a contract total not to exceed $29,000 per low bid. I have a second. Any questions, comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next, I move for approval of 233349, recommendation for the approval of the contract to HASCAM Environmental Corporation to provide hazardous, mm -hmm. hazardous material testing, disposal, and emergency services as needed for the Division of Transportation, 20000 and and stormwater management, $9,000 for the period January 1st, 2024 through December 31st, 2024, for a contract total not to exceed $29,000 per renewal under quote award 21094 DOT second renewal. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. Welcome, Member Zach. Sorry. I move for approval of DTP 010323, Local Public Agency Engineering Services Agreement between the County of DuPage and Christopher Burke Engineering for Professional Preliminary Engineering Services for the really East Branch DuPage River Trail from Illinois 56 Butterfield Road to the Illinois Prairie Path. For a contract total not to exceed one million four hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety seven dollars, professional services vetted through a qualification based selection process in compliance with the Local Government Professional Services Selection Act, the county will be reimbursed one million two hundred thousand dollars. Any questions or comments on this? Okay, all in favor? Aye. I didn't okay. hear a second. Oh, I'll second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Can I talk faster than you can? <laughs> <laughs> There's the quest. Okay, next time for approval of 233568, a budget transfer of $305,000 from capital. Contingent three hundred yes three hundred and five thousand dollars from capital contingency to land right of way for additional funds associated with the Warrenville Road bridge over the east branch of the DuPage River to Naperville Road from Ogden to Warrenville Road and Lamont excuse me from eighty seventh Street to eighty third Street projects for land acquisition as part of the FY twenty three budget land acquisition was budgeted in MFT decision was made to fund land acquisition to LGT to reduce IDOT required processing. Do I have a second? Mr. Okay. Yeah. Member say. Yeah. Member say. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Next, I move to combine items A through V. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, so I move to approve item 233412, Quando Consultants, revised exhibit PO. 57531. Item 233413, AECOM Technical Services Extend Purchase Order 4282 to 113024. 233414, Applied Research Associates Extend PO 
6308 to 1130-2024. 2334-16-BLA, extend purchase order 4860 to 1130-2024. 2334-17-BLA, incorporated, extend purchase order 5752 to 1130-2024. 2334-18-CDM Smith, extend PO 5625 to 1130-2024. 233419 Chicago Testing Lab Laboratory, extend PO to 1130 2024. 233420 Civil Tech Engineering, extend PO to 1130 2024. 233421 ESI Consultants L Limited, transfer fund to Gonzalez Companies LLC, company merger and acqu or an acquisition, extend purchase order. 5774 to 1130 2024. 233423, Grafe USA Incorporated, extend purchase order 6059 to 1130 2024. 233424, HR Green, extend purchase order to 1130 2024. Okay. 233425, HR Green, extend purchase order to 1130 2024. 233426, Huff and Huff Incorporated. Extend purchase order to 1130 2024. 233427, uh, HW Lochner, extend purchase order to 1130 2024. 233428, HW Lochner, extend purchase order 5277 to 113024. 233430, Patrick Engineering, extend purchase order 5806 to 113024. 233431, RM Chin Associates, extend purchase order uh, to 1130. 2024, 233432, Singin Incorporate Associates Incorporated, extend purchase order to 630 2025, 233433, STV Incorporated, extend purchase order to 1130 2024, 233434, STV, extend purchase order to 630 2025. Excuse me, 233436 Trans Systems Corporation extend purchase order to 1130 2024 and 233437 V3 Companies extend purchase order to 1130 24. Second. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Next move for approval of 233567 approval to release Second. the mobility framework plan for a 31 day public comment. I have a second. Any comments or questions about this? Okay, all in favor? Aye. All right. Next, we have amending agreements. I move for approval of 233457, DT053C91 amendment to resolution DT053B91 for renewal of an agreement with, of understanding between the County of DuPage and the Illinois Department of Transportation for maintenance and construction. I have a second. Any questions? Discussion? Okay, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay, I move for approval of 233590, rescission of local public agency agreement DTR 007923, and approval of revised agreement between the County of DuPage and the Illinois Department of Transportation, County Highway 9, Lamont Road, 83rd Street to 87th Street, and County Highway 31, 87th Haven Drive to Lamont Road, Section 16002320. County Highway estimated cost one million seven hundred forty-seven thousand seven hundred eighty-two dollars. All in favor? Uh, second. Or, second. I'm sorry, second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Okay. All right. Next, we have a couple of intergovernmental agreements. I move for approval of DTR 009023, joint funding second. agreement for preliminary preliminary engineering between the County of DuPage and the Illinois Department of Transportation for the East Branch DuPage River Trail from Illinois 56 Butterfield Road to the Illinois Prairie Path uh, County to be re reimbursed 80% up to $1,200,000. I have a second. Any comments or... No, Mr. Say. Just, I know, all that public comment at that one meeting about East Branch, do we have an update? Maybe we can do it under old business about what their complaints were and how we're addressing it. Sure. They were talking about going through neighborhoods and all that other stuff. And I mean, we haven't designated a path yet, have we? We're still looking at it, right? Correct. So okay. The so. focus of this study is to essentially wipe the slate clean okay. and begin anew. Two years ago-ish, 
um, we began, we did a feasibility study to essentially determine whether the East Branch Trail that was defined 2004, so nearly 20 years ago, still had merit. And as we got south of Roosevelt Road and we coordinated further with um, ComEd and we coordinated with Stormwater, some environmentals, there's some challenges. And we did begin to look at options. And those options did include meandering through um, some local roadway network. Um, we ended that study with a western alignment and an eastern alignment with the understanding that we are not wedded to either one of those. And there's a myriad of options potentially in between. So everything um, is back on the table or nothing is off the table, I should say. Great. So that's gonna be the big push is correcting some of that, um, maybe misunderstanding that there is, there, whether there is or is not a front alignment, there is not. Okay. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. Uh, next, I move for approval of DTR 009123, agreement between the County of DuPage and the City of Aurora for the installation of future maintenance responsibilities of the Central Signal System, County to be in re reimbursed $49,918.66. I have a second. Any comments, questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and I now move for approval of DTR 009223, agreement between the County of DuPage and the Morton Arboretum for the Illinois Prairie Path Enhancement Project, funded by a grant from NICOR Gas to remove invasive understory growth and replace them with oak trees along a section of the Illinois Prairie Path, county to be reimbursed up to $10,000. Okay, I have a second. Any comments or questions about this? I have a lot of acorns I could donate it. I do live right next to the prairie. <laughs> well, I was wondering how about 10,000 is not very much for oak trees. So I'm wondering if they're going to be like this. <laughs> I, actually, I think they're more than just whips. I think they're pretty good size sit. Yes. Like 30 inch diameter. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a 200 year oak in my front tree. That if it's healthy, it just gives you more acorns than you can imagine. So. <laughs> I do want to say you're right. Ten thousand doesn't go as far as it used to nowadays. Yeah. So one of the things where uh, what Sid is kind of put together is a plan to have our maintenance and use our own labor to do much of the work. We're also pursuant to the terms of the agreement, where part of it is going to have uh, Illinois Prairie Path volunteers out there assisting us. So as much as we can do with our own forces, so that we can leverage more and more trees to plant um, in this area, would be to expand the the. Uh, the breadth of, of area we can plan. So. Okay, thank you, Sid. Any other questions? And all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. Okay, next we have a discussion. I hate to use this W word, winter preparedness. <laughs> Yeah, so every year we, we uh, Take do an update yeah. and uh, just to give a status of where we're at with staffing, equipment, materials, et cetera. And so I'm going to turn over to our manager of highway operations, Mike Figure, to kind of give you an update of, of where we're at. Um, we did have our first snow, unfortunately, so we're a little bit late, but it melted. Good morning. Okay, so as Chris said, uh, we had had our first call out this year. It was at Halloween and everything went very smoothly. So to summarize, luckily we were prepared. <laughs> um, thank you, Mike. <laughs> you may, you well may sit down now. Thank you. Because <laughs> there will be no more. Anyway, I'm, I'm dreaming. So last snow of the year. Yeah. Yes. First um, and last. So truck status, all of our trucks are basically ready. Um, they've been gone over, prepared for winter. Um, we're still in the middle of calibrating and um, fixing some minor issues, but everything is operational that needs to be operational at this point. Um, our staffing levels, our fleet department is fully staffed for the first time and as long as I can remember for a winter season. So we're very excited about that. We're down three uh, openings for our plow drivers. We're actively recruiting that. Um, we don't expect that to impact operations. Um, and hopefully we can get new people on board and trained up uh, as quickly as possible. Um, with the bridge routes, we have lower weight trucks that we've uh, we went through last year. Um, everything should be fine with um, maintaining the bridges that have the weight restrictions on them. Uh, we're fully stocked on salt and liquids. Um, all contracts are in place to order more as the winter goes through. Um, we did the early buy in FY22 for our 23 and 24 plow trucks. Uh, those are still on schedule to be delivered late 24, so we won't have them for this season but they should be available next season. We also did an early purchase for 
um, the FY25 and 26, those are on schedule for um, mid-26 to be delivered. Um, weather outlook, uh, we're predicted to have a strong El Nino, which basically means that uh, temperatures are gonna be a little bit warmer with uh, below normal precipitation. So we'll see what uh, Mother Nature actually throws at us. So um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. <laughs> Remember to start. Thank you. I just have a general question. Sure. Um, like in my neighborhood, they don't even come out and plow until there's two inches of snow. Right. And you mentioned the, the Halloween snowstorm. Yes. Where it didn't even stick the pavement by me. So did we actually go out and do anything to the roads? We did go out and do it. Um, because there was no accumulation. So different areas of the county didn't receive anything. Many of our bridge decks did have um, a good uh, inch of um, slushy accumulation <laughs> on them. Up north, we got a little bit more than we got down south. Um, but we were out treating as needed. So do we, my, my bigger, my umbrella question is, do we have a policy on how much snow it needs to snow in order to send our crews out? No, so in the industry, there's a term called level of service. Um, smaller side streets usually have a low level of service where they won't come out until there's a couple inches on the ground or they might not plow overnight because there's not a lot of traffic. All of our roadways are higher volume, higher um, speed limits, so we have always strived to make sure that our roads are safe and because of those higher speed limits. You're welcome. Don't the temperatures of the of the, um, the outside temperature have something to do with it too? If it's not melting, then we have to put salt down or something. Yes. So um, salt works effectively till about 20 degrees below that, then uh, we still have to add extra chemicals to it. Bridge decks freeze faster because of the, uh, the air moving below them and above them. They typically will get colder than um, surface roads, which have a little bit of uh, heating from underground. So all of our trucks have uh, pavement temperature monitors. So our supervisors and our cloud trucks all can see what the, the pavement temperature is instead of, and the air temperature, but the pavement is what's uh, important for what we do. And then we adjust our materials accordingly, how much we put down and whether or not we're using liquids. I'll just add to that. It's a lot of times where it's uncertain the type of event we're going to get, or as Mike mentioned, uh, for small the county is, there could be a very different event south and north. And so we have supervisors that we stage 24 7 as well, and they'll be patrolling the roads. They have temperature gauges in their vehicles, and they can begin to say, okay, we're tipping below the 32 degrees. We need to respond with a you know half response. So it's just we're going to be dropping salt, um, for example, instead of you know plowing snow. So we'll do that oftentimes. Um, in addition to Mike's team, um, we're a little bit unique compared to our peer agencies. Uh, our engineering staff said one of, said is one of them. Uh, he carries a CDL, and so he can assist with snow plowing. We also partner with Public Works and Stormwater as well um, to expand our, our staffing. So without growing our staff internally, we can meet our needs for 24-7 operation uh, you know, we'll do two shifts typically. Uh, as, as the chair of this department, is it a requirement you have a CDL go out and plow snow as well? You don't want me to have a CDL. <laughs> no, I mean and the chair. The, oh, chair the chair. <laughs> I actually have a chauffeur's license. I drove a CTA bus in service and did a training. <laughs> so you. Sign me up. Are we still using But that? I don't, I'm not upgraded to the CDL. So <laughs> we're still using the beaches. The beaches. Cool. We're using the beet juice. So we're yeah. I was just going to yes. mention the beet it's not juice. not just for salads anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Major. Any other questions or comments? Okay. Uh, thank, thank you very you. much. Good news on El Nino, we hope. Yes. So, all right. Um, any old business? Any new business? Okay. Hearing none, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you.